from Colorado who has voted for McCarthy uh, so far. Uh, Congressman Buck, thanks for joining us. Um, you said something to Kevin McCarthy uh, about what needs to happen going forward. Tell us what you said. Well, I've had a number of conversations with Kevin and, and just basically told him that at some point this needs to break loose. Uh, he either needs to uh, make a deal that bring the uh, 19 or 20 over or uh, he needs to step aside and give somebody else a chance to do that. I don't know what that time frame is, but it makes sense that at some point today we, we are able to move forward in a way that uh, we elect a speaker. Unfortunately, the Democrats won't agree to a motion to adjourn so the Republicans can meet. Um, the rebels, uh, the 20 group uh, that, that is opposing McCarthy, won't agree to a, a motion to adjourn. So we're going to keep going through this exercise on the floor. The smart thing to do is to uh, get together, uh, have a conversation, choose somebody, and, and let's move forward. Right. I mean, one would have thought that that would have happened already. It's not like it was a mystery that this vote was coming up and somehow Kevin McCarthy was caught unawares. I mean, we knew this vote was happening. Uh, and it seemed very clear that whether it was five votes or 20 votes, Kevin McCarthy was not going to have the votes. Um, do you think he's going to lose on this fifth ballot? Oh, of course, of course. The, the 20 have, have not budged and, and the Democrats aren't going to vote for him. So uh, we're pretty much going to get the same vote uh, this time as we got the last four times. So your message to Kevin McCarthy is basically we need to fish or cut bait. We need to, if you can't get to 200, 18 or 217, whatever the, the threshold is, we need to find someone else. Who might that be? Well, I think the next in line is Steve Scalise. Um, and I don't know if Steve gets more or, or less. Um, I think that at some point we've got to start looking at the uh, rules and, and, and the committee assignments and other things and uh, just get back to the, the basics of, of what people, what their self-interest is in this case and uh, meet some of those interests and, and hopefully get the votes. Hey, Congressman, it's Dana Bash. Are you confident that if Steve Scalise were nominated that he would be palatable to enough of the 20 who won't vote for Kevin McCarthy? So I think you need to break the 20 down. There are a few of those 20 that just aren't going to vote for Kevin McCarthy but would vote for somebody else. There are some of the others in, in that 20 who want changes in the rules and there are some others that care about policy. And so I think if Steve meets uh, those three needs, he will be able to move forward and, and, uh, and take the, the, the speakership. And Congressman Buck, this is Abby Phillip. Uh, thanks for being here. My question is about what you just said about the timing of this. You said that by today, you need to see some indication of where this is going to go. Do you think that by today, Kevin McCarthy needs to make that deal or make a decision to move out of the speaker's race? I think at some point today, the, the conference as a whole needs to make a decision. I think what's, what's happening right now is uh, people are getting worn down. You're starting to get uh, uh, some conflict, uh, open conflict on the floor as well as behind closed doors. I think that conflict isn't healthy. And, and I think, um, you know, the, the moderates are talking uh, about uh, threats that they may uh, work with the Democrats on somebody. Uh, the, the 20 uh, are saying that they're not moving no matter what. Um, at some point, people have to realize that, that we've got to choose a speaker and, and move forward. The American people sent us here to get the work done. Do you think Kevin McCarthy is hearing your message? Is he willing to step aside uh, if he loses on a fifth vote, on a sixth vote, on a seventh vote? Uh, he's been preparing and hoping for this his whole life. His argument might be, look, I still have more votes than any other Republican, although certainly not more votes than any, anyone else running because Hakeem Jeffries keeps beating him. Uh, do you sense any willingness to, in your view, face the music? Well, look, Hakeem Jeffries is losing also. Let, let, let's be honest. There, there isn't a winner until somebody gets to 218. I just but mean he has more votes, that's all. He, yeah, he has more votes, um, but uh, he doesn't have uh, the, the ability to become speaker in, in this Congress. So Kevin McCarthy, I think, uh, will make the decision at some point. And what's going to happen and what, what should happen sooner rather than later is some of the senior members, some of the cardinals on appropriations, the, the committee chairman, some of the other folks that have been here a long time, have supported Kevin, uh, are going to have to have that private conversation with them that, that doesn't make sense and, and we need to move forward. Do you have any sense, sir, that that's actually going to happen? I have a sense. Um, uh, it's, it's common sense, but I don't well. have a, a sense that uh, it, it is, uh, no one has whispered in my ear that it's about to happen. Well, well you, you've seen what's been happening on the floor. I think common sense uh, left the room a while ago. But uh, just real quick, I want to follow up on the comment that you made about Steve Scalise. You told Manu Raju and you're saying now that 
he is uh, probably the consensus candidate. What would he need to do to get, I, I realize the 20 should be split in, into various camps, but at the end, he would need 218. How would he have to, what would he have to do to get that? So I think that uh, what Steve needs to do is uh, we have to have a break, whether it's this evening or at some point. And I think Steve just needs to sit down with each individual, talk to them about what they want. Now, the problem is once you make a commitment to a conservative in the caucus, then there's going to be a moderate who says, wait a second, I've been waiting for that committee chairmanship and I've been waiting for that subcommittee chairmanship. And, and so uh, it, it is, it's almost a zero sum game. You start giving uh, to one side, you're taking away from the other. Congressman Buck, before you go, one last question, which is how many votes do you think is enough uh, for this pr process to go on, assuming that Kevin McCarthy continues to lose votes, which he has been in the last few votes? I mean, this is the fifth right now. How, what's the maximum you think would be acceptable before there's a, a step to like try to find somebody else that, that, that will get 217 or 218? So if I knew that, I would be on the uh, flight to Vegas and I'd be putting my money down on the table. I, I have no idea. Um, it, I, I think it's going to be in the next two or three votes that uh, the, the, the nerves are frayed enough that, that people come together and make a decision. And are you going to continue voting for McCarthy or is your vote possibly going to shift to a different candidate if it's Steve Scalise or a present vote? Yeah, uh, so I am uh, voting on this vote for Kevin McCarthy. Uh, stay tuned and, and I'll let you know what I'm going to be doing in the future. All right, so this is the last time he can count on your vote, this, this ballot right now, the fifth one. Congressman Ken Buck, Colorado, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Uh, good luck to you and your, your caucus uh, 